A lot of effort goes into designing and testing algorithms in MATLAB, but when it comes time to implement the algorithm in hardware, a specification must be written to describe the behavior and handed to the hardware design and verification engineers. Not only is it time consuming to write this spec, but there are always assumptions and oversights, and when the design and verification engineers read it, they tend to fill in that uncertainty with their own assumptions. So specifically with the verification team, they typically create a universal verification methodology environment, and they have to create a test plan, test sequences, and a self-checking scoreboard that contains a golden reference model based on that spec. But why do they have to recreate all this from the spec when they can just reuse from MATLAB? HDL Verifier can generate system Verilog DPI components directly from MATLAB functions. It relies on production-proven MATLAB coder to generate C code that captures the functionality, and it wraps it with the DPI interface so it can be plugged right into any system Verilog environment. And it can even compile and build the DPI library if the simulation will be running on the same platform. This bypasses the need to capture the algorithm's behavior as a spec. You can think of it as an executable spec, which can be used, for example, as a golden reference in the UVM scoreboard. You can also generate DPI components from your MATLAB tests. And this works for Simulink too, and that includes analog models. What's nice is that these are available immediately, and they can be quickly updated too. So in this demo, I have an image processing design, and I want to verify it with a UVM environment. But I need a reference model for the scoreboard, and I can always use some more realistic tests. So I'll reuse what was already done in MATLAB, which is a real video source and an algorithm which performs edge detection, and I'll wrap it with the ability to compare an implementation output versus the algorithm output. What would it take to write all this by hand? So the algorithm itself is only seven lines of MATLAB code, but it's pretty powerful. It's conditioning the incoming frame, doing edge detection, then doing some enhancement to the output. And here's the MATLAB test bench. It reads in the video one frame at a time and sends each frame into the algorithm. And it will display the source and output video. It also calls the scoreboard just to make sure the scoreboard works correctly. Self-checking is not often done during algorithm development, but since this is intended for hardware verification, it's easy to just write it here and generate it. And here's the stimulus function, which simply sends out one frame of the video at a time. And when I click the play button, it will run the specified number of frames through, and I can see the output video as well as the scoreboard output in the MATLAB console. Now I can generate the scoreboard and stimulus as DPI components using the DPI gen command. The scoreboard needs the data types for its input arguments set here, while the stimulus has no inputs. The outputs use the data types of the MATLAB function outputs. The DPI gen command generates all the C code and headers, along with the wrappers that interface the C code to the system Verilog. It also compiles and builds the shared libraries, but I'm going to simulate using VCS on Linux, so I will just copy over the C in system Verilog source and headers and build in Linux. So I copy the two build directories over to this DPI subdirectory in my verification area. I edited the generated make file to use the Linux commands, options, and paths. First, I'll build the scoreboard, and what will get linked into VCS will be the shared object, the .so file. While I'm here, I just want to show the system Verilog template that was also generated. This can be instantiated as is in a test bench, but since I already have a UVM environment, I'm just going to grab these import commands, which declare the system Verilog function names that we'll call the C, and then I'll call the functions in the UVM scoreboard. The same items are all in the stimulus directory, so I'll just build the .so and take a look inside the system Verilog wrapper, which again contains the generated import statements and function calls. And I'll just copy these into my UVM sequencer. Here's where all my UVM files are. First, in the scoreboard, here's where I pasted those import statements. You probably noticed that I parameterized the sizes, which will allow me to run different frame size videos through more easily. I call the DPI initialize command in the UVM build phase. This returns a handle to this instance of the C function. And then further down, the actual call to the function specifies to use that handle, and it returns the output of the scoreboard, compares it to a threshold, and generates a UVM message based on that result. For the sequence item, 
This file has the import statements, and again, I parameterize the frame sizes, and in the UVM sequencer, I call the initialize statement to return a handle, and then loop through a parameterized number of frames, repeatedly calling the DPI stimulus to return a frame of video each time. Now I can compile and run the design in VCS. All of the Verilog code for the DUD is contained in this .f file, and you can see the top and test system Verilog files, which tick include all the other system Verilog UVM files. And I'll specify to run four frames of video. The compile takes a minute or so. And I created a script to call the simv because I have to specify a bootstrap file that points to the DPI shared objects. And that file is pretty straightforward. So now I can simulate. And it brings up Verdi, as I had specified. And I will just add waves for the design's IOs and then kick off simulation. Now this is going pretty fast, but each frame of video is passing its test. The error rate for the HDL implementation compared against the golden algorithmic model is lower than the threshold. And now the four frames are done, and I can just take a look to make sure that the stimulus is doing what it should, and for that I can see the pixel data streaming in along with the control signals. So to recap, what I have done here is I generated a golden reference model with error checking for my UVM scoreboard. And I generated just one of the tests, but it's a realistic directed test, reusing what was already done in MATLAB. So this saved me a lot of work. So HDL Verifier System Verilog DPI component generation automates the handoff from algorithm and system engineers working in MATLAB or Simulink to verification engineers. Think of it as an executable specification that helps you get your test bench up and running sooner and can be quickly regenerated when changes are made during the project cycle.